Hi, this is Jay from the horror section, and I figured I'd try my hand at an unboxing video today. It's for this Giallo-themed deck of cards. Uh, for those not familiar with the Giallo, they are essentially Italian thrillers that were released predominantly in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, they were known for their visual style, fantastic musical scores, and basically being awesome. So this is a limited edition deck, only 410 were made. Uh, it was for charity, uh, the Autism Anglia and the Swedish Autism and Asperger Association. Cultzilla UK was the site that put these out. Uh, I ordered one, they came in the mail last week, and I figured I'd uh, share them with you. So here's the deck. It's got a nice picture of Edvig Fennig on the cover. Let's open these up. Here's the deck. A straight razor on the Ace of Spades. It's a nice start. Oh, hold on a second, I'm forgetting something. Okay, here we go. This is more like it. Um, we're not really form-fitted leather gloves, but uh, it is June, so kind of hard to get. Cut me some slack, all right? Okay, so this is how it works. Uh, the aces are all weapons, so like you saw before, straight razor. And then two through nine are posters. Uh, Giallo's always had really lurid and uh, lavish and suggestive posters, so they work awesome for this deck. This is um, The Girl Who Knew Too Much. Uh, an early giallo by Mario Bava. This is a uh, Umberto Lenzi, so it's uh, Eyeball. This is uh, Five Dolls for an August Moon, which matches up with the five, which is something I always really hoped that they were going to do. A lot of giallo titles have numbers in them, so it makes sense that they would match them up. This is uh, Seven Bloodstained Orchids. House with Laughing Windows. So the Jacks are leading men. Um, Fabio Testi was in uh, What Have You Done to Solange. Uh, and the Queens are naturally leading ladies. Uh, Nina Strineberg was in The Case of the Scorpion's Tale and Who Saw Her Die. Uh, the most prolific uh, Italian director would have to be Mario Bava who's a huge influence on so many directors. Um, I don't think he really gets as much due as he's deserved. Um, I mean, I could probably do a separate video just on all the directors that he's uh, influenced, but uh, a king of spades, well-deserved. Moving on to hearts, there's the kitchen knife, Tenebra, uh, Muck, uh, Four Flies on Grey Velvet, another, uh, another matchup with the number. This is uh, what, what have you done to Solange? Cat or Nine Tails, uh, Dario Argento's second giallo. Uh, Provando Rosso, which is probably his um, Argento's most recognized um, giallo. Uh, Ivan Rasimov was in um, Planet of the Vampires, which was a huge um, influence on Ridley Scott's Alien. Uh, the lovely Barbara Boucher, who was in a ton of giallos, uh, a muck that we saw earlier, Don't Torture a Duckling, uh, The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, and probably most recognizable uh, Italian horror director, uh, King of Hearts, Dario Argento. Clubs has a pair of switchblades. Um, this is one on top of the other. Um, I, basically the only Italian that I know is stuff that I've gleaned from Giallo posters, so I'm just sort of bumbling through here, uh, trying to uh, come up with at least some of these. Um, Death Walks on High Heels. Seven Notes in Black, Black Belly of the Tarantula, Jean uh, Sorrell was in Lizard in a Woman's Skin, as was Florinda Balkan, which uh, I guess would naturally mean uh, Lee Chiu Fulci directed that movie, so uh, 
This is another cool thing that they're doing here, is they're trying to match up actors and actresses with directors. Um, Lucio Fulci was probably better known for his more supernatural stuff like The Beyond and uh, Zombie, but uh, he did make some pretty great giallos as well. A Diamonds a Meat Cleaver. This is the strange vice of Mrs. Varg. Uh, Case of the Scorpion's Tail. Red Queen kills seven times. Strip new for your killer. You gotta love these titles, right? I'm not sure what this one is. Um, it's got Susie Kendall in it, so I'm definitely interested, but um, I do not know what this is. Uh, George Hilton was in All the Colors, Colors of the Dark, um, and so was Hedvig Fennec. The stunning Edwig Fennec. Um, I remember the first time I saw her was um, Your Vice is a Lock Room and Only I Have the Key. Super great title, super great movie. Um, yes, so, and that movie was directed by Sergio Martino. Um, I think it would make sense that they're together because I think they worked together like 10 times, so I would say it would be easy to say that uh, she was his muse. Oh, that's great. JMB Booze um, was in a bunch of Giallos, uh, like The Burp of the Crystal Plumage, which I don't think I saw in this deck, which is a little distressing, but maybe it was there, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think Blood and Black Lace it was in, there's a bunch. So there's two, two here. And then uh, well, lastly is uh, an artist card, which is pretty cool, um, showing what artists did what. Although it does say, we've made every effort to identify the artists of the wonderful posters featured on the cards. An asterisk means we are not certain the artist is correct. Which I guess just makes sense, because some of these things are like 50 years old, so you might not know who did them. Um, so yeah, that's it. This is a great deck. Really beautiful. Um, the choices are really good. Um, I guess some of the other ladies could have been Susie Kendall or Mimsy Farmer, Asia Argento. And uh, for dudes, uh, John Saxon, because he was in a bunch. Tenebra, Case of the Scorpion's Tail, uh, Girl Knew Too Much. But, I mean, maybe they wanted to go with the Europeans. I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's great. Uh, I don't know where you would find this deck. Um, if you wanted it, maybe eBay. But uh, hopefully you had fun looking at them. And uh, talk to you later.